What up, players? It's Warboss here for this month. Welcome to my day 23 video for the Warboss Tay 2015 May Mayhem Painting Challenge. I am showing off a party girl, Space Marine. I've been painting these up, and uh, the reason why I'm showing you this guy is because I want to compare it with some of the other work that I've been doing recently. This is a finished example of a party girl Space Marine. Dark purple fading into black with silver trim, blue, cold blue accents in the eye lenses, and some accents of light purple uh, to match. Let me see if I got my example here. To match this, which the client provided as a reference light purple, dark purple fading into black with silver trim. So the reason why I want to show him is because I've also been working on uh, some companion pieces to go with this commission, which you've already seen some of. Here is an example of a cultist, again keeping the light purple in the medallion there, and um, skin colors and um, clothing color trying to stick to the box art for Dark Vengeance. I've also been showing off, you guys might remember these guys, the Mutilators from, sorry, Auto Lens, Auto Focus Lens. Uh, mutilators, which are done in a dark bronze brass with silver trim. And I use Brass Scorpion for it. It's looking a little bit gold-like though, so I might go back over with the Rune Lord Brass to pull it away from this kind of yellowy gold color. Warm skin tones, kind of like the box color, uh, box art the client requested. So I, I went for this kind of pink, fleshy look. Bone to offset all of that, this bone color. And uh, yeah, so that's what the mutilators look like. Finally, I want to show you what I'm going to be working on for the next couple days is the uh, Terminators. This is an old metal Terminator, Chaos Terminator model. And I'm going to be painting the reds up in a nice bright red. I'm going to highlight it up to be a nice bright red. The silver is going to be nice and bright. So these girls, are these ladies, are going to look uh, different from Blood Angels and Word Bearers, which would be the most common comparisons. Okay, so uh, let's jump on to the question for today. For day 23, the question was, that guy, oh, you know him, you hate him or you love him. It's that guy at your local GameStop, or <laughs> GameStop, Game Store. Oh, I haven't been to GameStop in forever. I've been downloading all my all my video games, so I won't have to deal with uh, GameStop. Okay, most of these people are strange, eccentric. Some of them are really awesome, and uh, I would love to hear some that guy stories about uh, gamers or role players who've really taken initiative and have leadership qualities and is able to bring the community together. Because that's awesome. I, I do know of that guy who started a campaign and was really creative and got everybody motivated and fired up to participate and do character stuff. That's kind of how I want to I want to be. I want to be a positive that guy. I think we all want to be positive that guys or that girls if uh, in alternative artist case and some other uh, ladies who watch this this crazy thing we're doing. But for, for my that guy story, I'm going to have to choose one that is kind of irked me because it kind of goes against the grain of everything that I know and love about our, our hobby. So, there's this one that guy who I had never met before and I've n never role played with since, but um, this guy was really into Dungeons and Dragons and um, I had one session with him and I just did not care for him. It, he was one of those guys that, that is so into being right and doing everything by the book and if he wanted to be creative at all it would be in to the purpose of um, kind of stopping what we were doing so that he could perfectly plot out how we were going to do something and it kind of takes the whole environment of what I what I consider the role-playing game environment of kind of doing things you can plan some things definitely for sure like how are we going to uh, set up this ambush or how are we going to make sure that we're not being ambushed okay who's gonna do what and uh, that's fine, and we can take the time to do that, but this guy was so, um, I guess, over-enthusiastic and overboard on those facets that we really ended up, it, the game ended up not being fun. And I hate that moment when you realize that, oh, the game has stopped being fun and has been become more of a... Uh, a, a challenge between the game master who's trying to keep everything rolling and trying to keep everybody motivated and this one 
person who uh, is trying to kind of take control of everything and what everybody does and what everybody says. Even, and I, I'm not, I'm not a fan of this breaking apart the group, but okay, so this ex exact situation I'm gonna reference is we were going, the group was going to meet some people at a barn for a handoff of, uh, of goods. And so we all had like our little tasks, uh, like some of us were gonna go in and be the decoy, some of us were going to go and sneak around the back and see if uh, everything was legit, some of us were going to kind of hang out and pretend to be bodyguards and whatnot. And um, this one character who was a fighter, this one guy said, okay, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna pose as the bodyguard. And we were all like, oh, thank God, he's, you know, the bodyguard isn't, isn't supposed to say anything. My character was gonna be the one doing all the talking and and whatever so so we're like finally he's, we're not gonna have to worry about him butting in too much and then every five seconds when we when the game master would sh shoot over to okay well, this is what's happening to the guys who are sneaking around behind oh and this is what your character sees and this is what your character sees so how do we deal with that he would want to butt in and say okay this is what we're gonna do when in you know in reality you don't see what the other characters are seeing right and you don't know what, what what the other characters know and and then he'd be making logical leaps by saying okay if that's what's happening outside then at this point my character is going to try to sneak a look out the window so he would be able to see what's happening and it's kind of like you're at that point you're just kind of derailing the group so bummer that I have to name you because I don't even remember your name I'm sorry uh, but this this guy was definitely not that much fun to play with and at, at a certain point, the other members of the group who just wanted to go to have a casual role-playing game night uh, ran into that. And we all started kind of looking at each other like, oh boy. But uh, it, I, I take that as a lesson, you know, because I never want to be that kind of player. And I, I want the games to be fun. And I, I bet this guy, he wanted it to be fun too. You know, he wanted everybody to have a good time, but he wanted everything done right. And he wanted to be the, the leader. And um, unfortunately... I think role-playing games are experiences where everybody shares the experience of, of doing their own thing, doing their, doing their thing, doing what makes them awesome and strong to uh, guide the group towards, uh, towards the narrative you know, end. It's kind of like an ensemble piece like Star Wars, when I think of Star Wars, or, uh, or great movies and great stories, they're ensemble pieces. So. Ah, take that what you will. Take from that what you will. That's my day 23 story. Oh my gosh, we're running on to 8 minutes again. So uh, sorry about that. And thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow or in the next video for my day 24 answer, which I promise will be a lot shorter.